It does appear as if I have left my thinking cap out of the mountains because I've rode up there not wearing any appropriate gear for the cold temperatures and leaving none on my horse. So bear with me on that one. But in today's video, we're heading up into the mountains to take a look at a shack that we can find that seems to tell a small story of its own. Of course, I am on about a shack known as Dormin Crest. To find Dormin Crest, you're going to want to head here on the map. It's just a ways north of Lake Isabella, which is just a bit northwest of Mount Hagen, which is just north of Mount Sham, which is just north of Strawberry. And if that's not enough direction, then just look at a map. It's quite off the beaten path, but if you set your map marker to exactly where I showed it, you shouldn't have a problem finding this place. So what you'll find is a small solitary shack in a very isolated location. You will notice a trail in the snow leading away from the house. However, more on that later. Inside the humble home, you will quickly notice that this is a shack built for one person, since there is one single bed and only one seat at the table. You will also notice that around the shack, there are notes posted on the walls. Now these posts cannot be read, and I can't for the life of me make them out either. You'll also notice an axe to cut trees, a bear trap, and various other survivalist tools all over the place. I also found a premium cigarette pack here, and this is the card that I got. And of course, you can find food dotted about the place, but beyond that, there's nothing really else to this hermit shack, except one big question. Where's its owner? Okay, so remember that trail that we pointed out that's leading away from the shack? Well, now what we're going to do is follow that. The trail does rather quickly fade away, so I'd personally recommend using the tracking system that you would use for hunting. Though it feels like much further, the trail actually doesn't take you that far away. At the end, we will find something in the snow. A dead man, frozen up here all alone, holding on to his rifle. He cannot be looted, however you can take his gun. He has long hair and a long beard, which implies, in my opinion, that he's probably been up here for quite a long time. Though I can see patches of red on him, it does appear as if he has frozen to death, since he's in an upright position and his body is completely frozen in it. It would appear as if this was the hermit that lived at Dormin Crest. I want egg and crest sandwiches now. Is that weird? The big question left behind by our lovely frozen corpse over here is why on earth is he sat out here with his gun? And why didn't he seek shelter when he instead allowed himself to be frozen to death by the looks of it? Maybe he was wounded. There is red on his body. Maybe he couldn't make it back physically. But like I said, it's not actually that far back to the cabin. He's just sat out here frozen to death holding his own rifle and it makes no sense. He appears to be on the lookout for some reason. Now why that would be a duty that would lead you to to your death is anybody's guess. He clearly wasn't hunting because if he was, he'd have gone back inside had everything gone okay, regardless of whether or not he caught the game he was after. And also this far up the mountains, life isn't exactly teeming. It would have made much more sense for him to descend down the mountain to go hunting than to ascend higher than his shack. So I think we can conclude that he's not hunting. He does appear to have a good view of the land below him, which leads up to his shack, however. As we can see on the map, his final resting place overlooks the road which leads closest to his home. Could he have been expecting some less than pleasant company? Could he have received less than pleasant company considering he has injuries? Maybe this damage was done by an animal and he chose this to be his final resting place knowing that he'd never make it back home. As far as people are concerned, we know the Del Lobos are quite active in this area in 1899, as it is where Flaco Hernandez and his boys are camped out. But if that were the case, wouldn't they have robbed him? And though there's nothing really of value in his home, I get the vibe that hermits don't have much use of currency. So as you can already tell, this is leaving more questions than it is answering. All it's really answering is, where is the hermit who lives at Dormin? crest. Beyond that, what happened to this poor fellow, why he froze to death up this way, and considering the blood on his jacket, how he got that injury, and why he didn't seek shelter before he froze, I do suppose we will never know the answer. But please do let me know what you think down in the comments section. I could go back and forth between theories all day long until I come to an answer, however I don't think that that will make for very worthy content. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be really appreciated and I do suppose that I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.